In this video, I will be explaining the concept of filters inside Pabli Connect. Filter is a very amazing feature as it allows you to send only the selected data to a different external software or if you are using Google Sheet, send data to a Google Sheet which is actually filtered and you do not actually want entire data to be sent but only the filtered data. For example, in this specific case, I have already created a form right here which is a general information form. I only want the people who are selecting female as their leads uh, to be entered into a Google Sheet and I really want to reject all the uh, people who have selected gender as male uh, in this specific case. So I really want to accept all the uh, submissions which have female in them but I want to reject all the submission which have male in them. So this is all filter up. This is what the filters are all about. So I'm just going to go back to Pabli Connect first and I'm just going to create a new workflow and I'm just saying the name of the workflow as filters demo. Okay. So filters demo sheet has been created already. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to set up a webhook so that whenever this form is filled up, you will get a response back inside Pabli Connect. So I've already chosen my app as Pabli Form Builder and the method is new form submission. And I'm just going to copy this webhook URL and I'm just going to paste this inside this specific form. So I've already have this form selected. Uh, you have to go to integrations, webhooks, and then you have to just paste out this webhook URL. Just make sure if you already have some webhook URL, you can even delete them as well. So I'm just going to click on add webhook here. And you can see the webhook is submitted already. This means whenever this form is filled now, um, all the details will be sent to Pabli Connect in real time. So I'm just going to click on capture webhook response right here. Okay. So I'm actually choosing the wrong option here so that you can totally understand how the entire filter works. In this case, I'm just choosing the gender as male instead of female. And we really want to avoid all the submissions which have male in them. Okay. So I'm just choosing the option as mail and I'm submitting this submission. So you can see, just wait for two seconds. And you can see the webhook is appearing right here with choose your gender eight number field as mail. Okay. This means the entire data is already captured inside Public Connect. So the next thing we want to do is we just want to click on plus button. And from the app section, we want to filter this data um, according to the choose your gender key field. Okay. So I'm just clicking on, this is the filter app. And then this is the field on which you want to do filtering on. So I'm just selecting choose your gender. Make sure uh, you are, even though you are selecting the entire field, but only the key of this specific field will be taken into account. The value will not be taken into account right now while making uh, this entire filtering segment. So you can see choose your gender is appearing right here. And I'm seeing that if the choose your gender is female, okay, currently the option is male, but I'm saying that choose your gender should be equal to female for this workflow to continue further. Okay. So I'm just going to save this. And I'm just going to send that test request again. It is saying that the condition is false and the basically this entire workflow would have failed right here inside this filter step itself. Okay. Uh, the filter will allow the workflow to be executed further only if the condition is true. Otherwise it will not allow you to send data to a next step. So I'm just going to click on plus button now. Uh, I'm creating a sheets, a Google sheet file, just to show you everything, how the entire system works. Um, I just created the sheet by the name of responses by female. I'm just entering first name, last name, email and gender. Okay. So I just created a simple sheet by the name of responses by Gmail, uh, responses by female. Uh, I'm just selecting sheets right here and I'm just going to click on connect with Google sheet clicking on connect and allowing my account access. It's been successfully authorized and you can see the spreadsheet is already selected, which is responses by female. Okay. 
there are just one two three four fields so i will be using four pairs of double quotes one pair two pair three pair and four pair okay i'm just placing my cursor right here i'm entering the first name like right here the last name the email address and the gender now even though for the first time because we are going to run a test this entire data will be sent to female responses but in future when we are going to get real time data it won't be sent anymore the workflow will be broken in between because the condition is not met okay so you can see the data is already right here but don't worry about the male gender right now because uh, we just wanted to make sure that our connection is working fine that's why we sent a test request and that test request is actually added right here okay so since the connection is working fine we can just click on save and we will just close everything down so that we can actually have a good look on what we are really doing so First of all, we are getting data through a webhook from Pabli Form Builder. Then we are filtering the data. We just want to receive the data from females. And then we are sending the data to Google Sheet. Okay. So this means everything looks fine. I'm just clicking the save button on the final workflow just to make sure everything is saved. Uh, I'm also deleting this data right here because we do not really want to have the male data right here. But now if you go on and fill this form. Okay. Uh, for example, I'm just going to select Neeraj Agrawal with my email address and the gender of male. Okay. You won't see any data appearing on Google sheet. You can see it's empty. Okay. But if you go out there again, but if you fill out this form again, and you fill the gender as female, because the condition will be successful, the filter condition will be successful, you will see the data right here. Okay, let me just give you another try. Okay, uh, I'm selecting as male, the data is not right here. Okay, I'm selecting as female and I'm submitting it you can see the data is right here. So this means the filter is working appropriately. We have mapped that only filter should allow to continue this entire workflow only if the gender is equal to female. Now in real time, you can actually use this filter in many, many ways. For example, if you really want to send data for a specific product uh, to a different place, you can define a filter that if the product ID is eight, then only the filter will continue. Then only the workflow will continue. If the product ID is 10, then only the filter will continue. So you can basically capture a lot of responses, but based on filters, you can actually define that, uh, what kind of data do you really want to send on the next step? So I do hope that you might have found this video useful. Just in case, if you have any questions or queries, feel free to contact us. Our email is admin at pabli.com. Thank you.